what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel this video we're going to keep going with the photoshop panels and we're on the adjustments panel before we get into it don't forget to subscribe and like the video if you're new and these videos help you out also comment down below if you got any questions with that let's get right into it so the adjustments panel is right here if you don't see it what you're going to want to do is come up to the Windows menu and go to Adjustments and click it. Then it should pop up for you. Uh, it might look like this. It might have a different look. It might look like this. Uh, but if you got a newer update of Photoshop, it's probably going to start off in the modern view like this. So I'm going to break it down starting from the top and go to the bottom. And then we'll break down the hamburger menu right here. So first at the top, we got adjustment presets. And if you hover over it, you can see a preview of what it's going to look like on your image. If you click more, it's going to open up a lot more that you can check out. And these are all free. They're pre-saved in Photoshop. So you don't have to do anything to get them. Uh, and then this button here, it just changes the view. You got a list view with the thumbnail and the name, or you got just the thumbnail. And if you hover over it, you can see the name. Alright, if we go back, these are your main adjustments right here. Single adjustments. You can click this button to change the view where you got just the icon, or where you got the name and the icon. Now, I'm not going to break down exactly what each one of these do I do that in my adjustments video so I'll put a link to it so check in the description and it should be there so we got 16 different adjustments right and these are basically just buttons for each adjustment that's available and when you click these these are not adjustment filters right there's a difference between adjustment filters and adjustment layers when you click these, they make an adjustment layer. You can see I'm keep clicking them, make one of each. These are all different layers, and they come with a mask, and you can change on or off if you don't want the mask. But it's a specific separate layer. So if I got my hue saturation here, right, and I click on the thumbnail, you can come to the properties panel, and in here is where you can tune everything and change all the parameters. For this specific one, you know, you got presets. You can choose the colors. You can change the hue, saturation, and lightness. You can also colorize it. So if I were to change the hue, you know, purple, then you can see it affects my image, but it's actually working on this layer. If I hide the layer, then there's no adjustment. You can also clip this to the layer underneath it by clicking this button here. And now it's just affecting this layer. Because if you don't have it clipped, it's going to affect every layer underneath it. So if I were to hide this, you can see it's affecting this image too. But if I clip it, Let's clip it to that one, and I hide it. This one's not affected. And I could go on all day about each one of these, and like I said, you can check out my adjustments video. But when I click each one, you can see in the properties panel, it changes the options. They all got their own, they all got their own separate parameters and options that you can change. So let me show you something real quick. If I hide this layer and click back on my original layer and I go to image adjustments and then I do hue saturation from here, there's going to be a dialog box that pops up. Okay. It has the same parameters as the properties panel when you have a layer, but it's just a different way of doing it. So if I do it with this one, now you can see it's not its own separate layer. It's going to be added as a smart filter. 
Okay, and then you can just shut it off or on, but it's only connected to this individual layer. It's not going to affect anything else. And you can add multiple to the same layer if you want, right? That's not what this panel is about. Like I said, this panel is all about separate adjustment layers. All right, so next we're going to go over the hamburger menu. And the first thing on here is auto select parameter. Don't even worry about this. All it does literally is if you have one of these pop up, it has the first box highlighted so you can just enter in the numbers without having to click on it and then enter them in. That's literally all it does. Next, we got a list of all the filters. Same ones that are in the actual panel itself. But when you click this, if I do hue saturation, it's going to pop up a new layer dialog box. You can name it. You can use the previous layer to create a clipping mask. You can change the color. If we put red, you can change the blend mode of the actual layer itself and the opacity. When we click OK, then we got the dialog box popped up. You can change it, click OK, and then it adds in a hue saturation layer. And you can still come into the properties panel and change the options, right? But it's just another way of adding the adjustment. After that, we got add mask by default. If you have this unchecked and I added a hue saturation, you can see the difference. It just doesn't have this mask, right? If you want to add a mask after, you can always click this button and it adds one to it. I always keep this on. No reason to really turn it off for me. Uh, next, we got clip to layer. If you have this selected, every time you add an adjustment through the panel, it's going to clip it to the layer underneath. So if I added levels, it's going to clip it to the lower layer. Uh, then I already showed you we got classic view and modern view. Modern just has adjustment presets and a different view of it. If you click classic, you literally just got the icons. And then last down here, we got close. This just closes the panel or the panel tab group. If you accidentally click that and you lose it and you can't find the panel, again, just come up to Window, click Adjustments, and you'll be good. So that's about it for the Adjustments panel in Photoshop, everybody. If you got any questions or comments, make sure to comment down below. Also, don't forget, if this video helped you out, helped you learn Photoshop, don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.